Using a stabilizer is very common in machine embroidery, but it can also come in handy in garment sewing. I'll give an overview on the different types of stabilizers and how to use them. A stabilizer is a product added to fabric to support or stiffen it in order to achieve a certain look or help in the ease of sewing. Like its name suggests, it stabilizes the fabric. The most common stabilizer in garment sewing is interfacing, which stays inside the garment to create shape or support for areas like the collar or cuff. If you're interested in this, you can watch our Interfacing 101 video. This video will focus on other types of stabilizers. Stabilizers can come in many different types and can be temporary or permanent. The four major types are tear away, cut away, wash away, and heat away. There can also be different ways stabilizers can be applied, such as fusible, non-fusible, self-adhesive, spray-on, tapes, etc. The type of stabilizer you use is dependent on the fabric and what you're attempting to achieve. Stabilizers are typically applied to the wrong side of the fabric, but some stabilizers, known as a topping, can be put on the right side of the fabric. Tearaway stabilizers are applied to the wrong side of the fabric and are torn away after sewing. This one is probably more appropriate for fabrics that are more stable and the stitches are more secure. You don't want to pull on fibers and stitches that could be damaged by pulling off the stabilizer. Cutaway stabilizers are also applied to the wrong side of the fabric, but they're more permanent. They're usually softer as they'll stay on the inside of the garment to support an embellished area like an embroidery. They're also great for applying to seams and hems of knit fabrics to ensure smoother stitching. Washaway stabilizers can be applied to the wrong side, but sometimes they're also applied to the right side as a topping stabilizer. This is for those delicate fabrics that you don't want to be pulling on, but also the fabric might be more transparent, so you don't want to see any stabilizer after you're done. They dissolve with water, so you should only use them with washable fabrics. Heataway stabilizers are mostly used in machine embroidery or lace work and for fabrics that can handle a high heat. When would you use a stabilizer? There are many different reasons, but in garment sewing, it comes in handy when dealing with finicky fabrics that don't have a lot of stabilization on their own, like chiffon, knit, lace, and tulle. You can use the help of a stabilizer in sewing a seam to make it less frustrating and have smoother looking seams. To use, put your seam under your presser foot and then lay a strip of stabilizer on top. Then just sew through all three layers. I'm using a cutaway, so I just trim after I finish. You can use the same method for doing hems, especially if you're dealing with fabric that rolls like jersey. You can stitch it onto the bottom of the fabric and then fold it up as normal. When done, I can cut the excess stabilizer away. This is also great for preventing tunneling caused by double needles. Or if the fabric is washable, you can use a spray-on stabilizer to make it stiff. This also works with slippery or tricky fabric like chiffon or lace. You can wash the stabilizer off when finished. Doing buttonholes in a tricky fabric like chiffon? Consider using a washaway stabilizer so your fabric won't distort or twist and you'll end up with neater looking buttonholes. Doing any kind of embellishment like decorative stitching, you should put stabilizer on the wrong side of the fabric like a tearaway and you'll end up with smoother, more professional looking stitches. When done, you can tear it off. If you're unsure what type of stabilizer to use, test it out on scraps of your fabric to see which one will work best for you. But working with a stabilizer is a great way to make your sewing look even better. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of our new releases. Also check out ProfessorPinkCushion.com to view our complete library with well over 450 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can join our YouTube membership and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.